I don't want to have to sit here and carve it. This is a joinery video for beginners. So right now I'm going to carve it and then we'll join it together and I'll show you guys how to do it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Ryan Cook Carving. This is the trick tip of the week. I've been asked a lot about doing attachments. So I want to do a beginner's guide to attaching wood to carvings. So that can be in doing hands, feet, arms, trident spikes swords you name it dragon spikes anything can be attached it's just a matter of how you go about doing it ideally which is what i'm not doing in this video but ideally if you're in a competition you only get one log so you have to plan for a chunk of the log of your off cut to be an attachment so just remember that and anytime you can do that for sure try to do that because then you have the same color of wood the same thing that is you know it's the consistency that you're looking for. Now, going if you're doing a hand, you want it to be long grain. So that means the grain is going up because that's gonna be your strongest way to carve. Especially if you're doing like a sword or something like that, you don't wanna have it so it's just like uh, cross grain because it, won't, it just won't work. It, it will work, but it will break, it'll be weak. If you're going long grain, you can get a lot more strength. That's just something to think about. What you're gonna need is some screws or some timber locks. I use timber locks with Torx, some Gorilla Glue, the foaming kind, or Elmer's glue. Or if you want, you can do just your regular wood glue. I'm sure it works really good, but for me, I like to use a foaming glue that, from what I've been told, is it makes it stronger than the wood itself but that being said i've just had a carving who you know break to five years later so uh you know a wing fell off an eagle so you know what who knows but what i gotta say is attachments 101 let's get into it i'm gonna turn the lights on the shop so i'm gonna get this thing turned on and then i'm gonna take my saw and i'm gonna dig the dogs in and cut it down on an angle because then when i have it on the angle that i want then I can carve it. You see how that's going straight up? It's not gonna work for me. And doing it with this one, it, it's a longer, it's longer so it allows there to be more of a, uh, you know, mess up. So for me, I'll pr I'm more comfortable just taking off a nice clean cut here and then mocking it up there, drawing it, drawing the hand out, and then boom. Getting ready for glue, screw, detail, and then that's how we'll do it. So let's rock it out. You. I'm gonna look for it on the angle I want it, and that's about it. Woo! And you want to leave as much as you can for the joints. So I'm gonna go right at the cut here. Off my knife. Off my knife. Okay, so like I was saying, one clean cut. That's your best bet because you don't want to have to do a ton of different cuts because then it becomes a pain in the ass. It happens all the time. Let's see, hopefully that'll be good. So it's a pretty clean seam. There's a little notch here. I'm not gonna worry about that too much because I can do texture at the end. If there's big gaps and this is your first time doing it, then, and you just can't get it, then just glue it. And if there's a space, you come in later with the same color wood of an off cut and a wedge, and then you glue it and you fill it afterwards and you try to make it look as clean as possible. Not a different color. Like I said, this is gonna be white, so it's not a big deal for me. Like say you're just doing a shoulder, Leave like this much of what's gonna be the beginning of the bicep, just in case you wanna change the direction of your arms, just like we did here. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have it here, now I just gotta get a screw, tack it in, and uh, draw it. Just grabs it a bit, and if I do two screws, I should be able to hide it. Look for the best shot here, and this is gonna be it, right here. Perfectly wide enough. Woo! <laughs> Something like that. And to arm. Joints should. 
should be where the elbow is, and then that's the armpit. And then you check the length of the other arm. Thirty-five inches. Thirty-five inches. Perfect. So hands come to the top. We'll block this out. I'll take this right out. Kind of shape it out up here because this is actually strong. If you have a strong big joint, you can do that. Okay, so I have a couple of chunks out. Now I know where I need to carve this. Now if you want to watch this video of the full carving, I'm going to link it in this video below. So you'll be able to watch the whole thing come to life. Minus this, because I don't want to have to sit here and carve it. This is a joinery video for beginners. So, right now, I'm going to carve it, and then we'll join it together, and I'll show you guys how to do it. Way lighter, very good. Now, how's that? Perfect. So I left this part uncarved, right? Because in case something happens and I have to carve around it, plus I want the texture to line up. So that's a good trick for you guys when you're doing this stuff, is carve as much as you can at the top, and then depending on how big the joints are. When they're bigger like this, they're not as flimsy, but when you start doing wings and tail feathers and fingers it gets chattery up there so I did as much as I could on there and now I'm just glue and screw this I got the glue heating up because it's so cold so there's a couple of ways you could do it I sometimes like to just go crisscross across and then screw it down sometimes you can drill a hole in here and drill the exact same hole in the same spot, maybe by just like putting a felt pen there and marking it, and then filling this with glue, and filling that with glue, and you're creating yourself a glue dowel. It's a good trick. Uh, a lot of people say to add water, like when you're in a competition, a lot of guys I'll see add water on top of this because it activates the glue faster. I, I think it works, I mean, I don't know, I can't confirm it, but I'll tell you, if something's gonna help me faster and everybody else is doing it, I'm gonna do it. Whether it's, you know, whether it's 100% true or not, I don't know. When you're doing a commission piece, you're, you wanna get the joints as tight as you can. Like ideally seamless, right? You don't wanna be able to tell that. Now, another good point I wanna talk about for doing joints is where to do joints. I prefer to do it at all of your joints, right? Joints and joints. You want to do it at your breaking of the wrist, breaking of the knees, your elbows, your shoulders. You know, a place where there is a, a place where movement can take place, you know? And then if there's a joint there, you can, if you have to say bend a wrist or something, you do that. You just leave enough space while you're carving to do that. Now, I hope this is helpful. This is a pretty straightforward joint. And if you're just getting started, yeah, do whatever works for you, right? If you, got, if you want to go crazy, try your best, try something new, go, and do something hard, go for it. But I mean, I say keep it simple at first. Ooh, that hurt my back. Keeping it simple for the first little bit is your best bet, I think. Now I'm only, I'm overkilling the glue here just because this is gonna get moved around a lot. It's gonna foam out like crazy. And if I see any cracks where the foams are, well, it's drying, I'll fill the cracks with it. So this is plenty. You gotta look, make sure that's gonna work for you. Right. And there you go. So you can see now, it pulled it tight. There's glue coming out here, which means it's great. And uh, there's glue coming out here. So, boom, it's in there. And wherever I put the other screw, I don't know, because I'm the screwball myself. I don't want to do something in the front, but I think, I think it might have to. There. So they see that glue came out there. That's great. Now he's a big dude. 
Hey, everybody. So I hope that's helped. You know, this is just gonna glue it, screw it, and I'll start carving around it. A good trick, because it happens to me all the time when you start doing attachments and you're rushing. I get some spray paint and I spray where the screws are. Just so I know when I'm carving to watch out for those and I know which way they are traveling. So if this video helped you, Hey guys, so I just thought of one extra little bonus tip at the end of this video for joinery is if you got a seam when you know that you're gonna not need it to get a more flush seam, carve out this middle. And then when you put the joint on, there's less surface space and it fits perfect. <laughs> Glue, screw, you! Ha 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 ha!